What is going on Taurus? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to your November 2019 tarot and astrology forecast. So let's get into it. So Taurus, this month for you guys is really about change. This is the theme for everybody, not just you guys, but I feel for you guys especially, you're making a break for it in some interesting ways. I feel that some of you guys are going to find the truth about a situation. You're going to see the truth of a situation for what it really is. Maybe you were looking at a situation through a filter and that filter gets ripped off. I also feel like there's going to be a lot of relationship stuff that comes up for you guys as well. And you guys are going, basically you guys are being asked to stand out, be different, say that thing that you wanna say, do that thing that you wanna do. No matter how eccentric, no matter how different, no matter how weird, no matter how just, I don't know, quirky it is, and no matter how random it is, do it. And I feel like this is a month where it's really important to understand what Uranus has been teaching you. Uranus has been in your sign um, since around like, I think April of this year, and I think it's going to be teaching you about your relationships this month because everything that goes through Scorpio is going to be opposing Uranus. And what this means to me is that there may be some power struggles, there may be some changes, some shifts, some realizations, and that is what I am seeing also in the first three cards that fell out during the pre-shuffle, which is the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Hazards, which is the Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So this tells me that you may have been in a situation that committed to a situation that maybe wasn't who you were anymore or maybe just isn't who you are anymore. And you may have to face the truth or you may have to speak up about a situation. Now, I also feel like for some of you, this could have already happened, but maybe you're finally getting some answers or getting some clarity on it this month, Taurus. So we'll see what else comes out. But I feel like Scorpio season and this new moon we just had in Scorpio on the 27th of October could have you ready to take some big risk and make some big changes or um, do something surprising or unexpected or maybe someone else in your life could. So now we have the Ten of Wands and the Tower. So like I was saying, um, Taurus, sorry. Like I was saying, Taurus, this is a big month for you guys because what's going to be happening here is that filter is going to be ripped off and that burden is going to be finally lifted from you with the tower coming up here. Something unexpected is going to finally free you from a situation and it's going to feel like a release, Taurus. Even if at first it's scary because it's unexpected, it's surprising, it's uncomfortable, but it's going to feel like a release for you. And I feel like it's going to show you where you may have not been being 100% true to yourself or true to your own desires and what you truly want with the Queen of Cups here. It's time to follow your true heart and not carry the burdens of others anymore and not let your your fear get the best of you basically um i also feel like you could be you could be faced with like a mind or heart decision this month um and I feel like you already know what you want or what your soul needs deep down, but your mind is scared of it, right? And that's what I feel is possibly going on for some of you here. So I feel like your relationships definitely could be to the forefront this month and you could be needing some kind of freedom um, or maybe your partner could if you're in a relationship, but you're truly ready to break free from any bondage that may have been holding you back. Um, and some of you may feel the need to change your appearance, the way you dress, the way you look, your style, your aesthetic. Um, just change and shift things up about yourself, shift things up about your look, um, or even shift things up in your relationships or with your sexuality or your sex life. 
and maybe you feel like you can't breathe in some areas and there may be some kind of stress at work or something along those lines. With the Mercury retrograde in your seventh house, it's really important, Taurus, to not sign any contracts or get involved with any um, agreements or negotiations this month. Um, not a great month to get married. <laughs> Um, you could have exes coming back to the surface. You could have past issues or beliefs coming to the surface with relationships that need to be healed um, or past relationship issues or things from the past that are causing some relationship complications. But I don't feel like it's going to be, I don't feel like the Mercury retrograde itself is going to be anything to fear. Just some things that are being brought up for you to work on as a couple or just as yourself moving forward. Um, so also Venus is going to be in Sagittarius, which for you guys, Taurus, is all about sex, the taboo, the occult. So these sex is coming to the forefront for you guys big time this month. Um, and it's nothing to be scared or ashamed of. So we have the four of hazards, which is like the four of pinnacles. We have the five of hazards. So the five of pinnacles. We have the Four of Swords, and then we have the Fool. This is actually beautiful, even though I think some of you guys may be scared of it or may be like, oh my god, that sucks. I don't think it sucks at all. So what I see here is once this tower happens and shakes you free of whatever burden this is, whatever burden you guys have been carrying for a while now, um, you are going to you're going to like try to hang on at first you're going to try to cling at first um, because it's unexpected because it's out of your comfort zone it's going to scare you to get out of your comfort zone but it's going to force you out of your comfort zone with the five of pentacles here it's going to force you to feel alone or like an outsider or like i don't know like you're outside looking in but not for long because then we have the four of swords which is about recovery and um, re re recouping and all of that. It, it, it is about um, healing and recovering and so and getting and taking time to yourself and recovering and understanding that it's okay. And then we start off with the fool on a brand new journey and that's what Sagittarius season is going to be all about for so many of us. A brand new optimistic journey and that's exactly what the fool here is, Taurus. So this is actually beautiful. Yes, you're dealing with some changes. You're dealing with getting out of your comfort zone a little bit this month. You're dealing with une some unexpected things, but what you don't realize is that this unexpected event is going to shake you free of some kind of burden. Now, this unexpected event looks to be happening in the middle of November. I would probably say it's going to happen when Mars moves into Scorpio. It's going to be opposing Uranus and your sign, Taurus, and I think this is when some Something's going to happen that's going to shake you free, even though it may not feel like it at first, like I was saying before. You may be a little bit scared. You may be a little bit scared to get out of that comfort zone and to really, like, you know, move on. But once you do, you will feel so healed. You will feel so relieved. You will feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. You will feel like the universe did for you what you couldn't do for yourself. So that is what I'm getting so far for you guys in the cards, Taurus. Um, so let's go back over um, the rest of your astrology here. So yeah, Mercury is going to be retrograding in your seventh house. So no contracts around this time. Just try to leave it alone um, unless it's something you've already been working on or something that you've already done. Like just try to kind of leave it alone. Um, also, with this Taurus full moon that's happening on November 12th, I think this is going to be big endings, transformation, feeling alive, and ending cycles. Looking back to the new moon we had in Taurus, which was um, around your birthday season, and seeing how much that you've grown since then, and coming to a moment of clarity, you may feel a little bit exposed, a little bit vulnerable around this time, but... I really think that there's going to be some kind of undeniable understanding of something, some undeniable realization, some undeniable come to moment, awakening moment where you're like, okay, you know, 
this is changing, this is finally over, it's time to move on, and this could be the situation that's coming up in the cards as well, Taurus. So um, on Mars enters um, Scorpio around the 19th um, of November, and I really think that this for you is going to be some kind of rebirth. Someone may do something or someone may take action on something that kind of surprises you or there could be some kind of power struggle in which you probably need to stand up for yourself or you probably need to be the one to take action but I feel like it may be someone else that does the unexpected change or takes the unexpected action in some way but it's going to end up being a good thing um, even if it doesn't seem like it at first. This is going to help you this is going to teach you about embracing your uniqueness, embracing your, your differences, embracing your quirkiness, being able to be liberated. This is going to liberate you. And you may want to rebel against it at first, but I do see you surrendering and ending up with a huge blessing by the end of the month if you can surrender this, Taurus, whatever it is. And we'll talk about that in a second. So... Um, the Sag New Moon happens on the 26th, and I think this is going to give you some kind of like ballsy moment where, you know, maybe you get challenged or you challenge someone else, but you're breaking out of old commitments, old agreements, possibly even old contracts, things that were making you stuck or that you needed to move on from. That is what you're doing, and the Sag Moon is going to be a brand new optimistic beginning for you, a brand new adventure for you, Taurus, where you can finally move on, move forward, and start a whole brand new freaking journey that is going to be amazing. Um, so you're going to have a huge blessing and gift at the end of this month when Venus and Jupiter conjunct in Sagittarius on the 24th. And what this gift is going to look like for you, Taurus, is it's going to have something to do with basically um, something on a deeper level. It's going to have depth. Now, it's going to have Scorpion but Sagittarian-like themes. So something to do with the taboo, something to do with closure, something to do with healing, something to do with psychology, something to do with um, therapy, something to do with other people's money, other people's finances, business, loans, um, sex, um, something to do with those types of themes, possibly even taboo occult, so psychic um, stuff or you know astrology or something. There's going to be some kind of realization, gift, blessing, whatever that comes in to do with those themes at the end of the month. And I really think it's going to be big for you. So definitely let me know down below if this is resonating so far. Also, what that gift is for you guys at the end of the month, what that blessing is that happens around the 24th. It could be a little bit before, a little bit after. Definitely let me know and definitely keep me updated because I really want to know and I'm a nosy bitch anyway. But I love you guys, Taurus, and I will see you guys in my other videos. Make sure you have your notifications set to on, or I'm sorry, all. That way you get all of my notifications. I've been doing a ton more videos and readings, so definitely have your notifications on. I love you guys. Bye.